It doesn't take a genius to realize that the crossover slash SUV segment is particularly hot right now. Just look around on the roads, you see them everywhere. Now within that market, the compact luxury crossover segment is particularly hot right now. And this is where this Mercedes GLC sits. It's one of the top sellers in the segment. It competes against the likes of the BMW X3, the Audi Q5, and about a half a dozen others that you could consider main players. Now, the GLC was brand new late in 2015. It replaced the very stylish, very formal roofed GLK. Now, in replacing it came the new name, the GLC. The C, recognizing that it shares a lot of mechanical components with the C-Class sedan. This is the GLC 300 formatic. And it's not as though the GLC is completely lacking character. It wears a strong face with a slim radiator grille sporting twin louvers, a centered Mercedes star, and large headlamps. The GLC boasts a wheelbase 118 millimeters longer than its predecessor, plus a 50 millimeter increase in width which translates into more cabin space for passengers, plus additional cargo room. What distinguishes the GLC 300 formatic from many of its competitors is that it's not quite as sporty. It has a much more relaxed persona. If you truly crave more horsepower, what you do is option up to the AMG GLC 43, and it comes with a 362 horsepower twin turbocharged 3 liter V6. As I said, the GLC 300 is a relaxed crossover. It's not particularly sporty, but it's not a slug either. You can tailor it. Of course, you have multiple driving modes. You have Eco, you have Sport, you have Sport Plus. So you can get a modicum of sportiness if that's what you want. There's nothing particularly outstanding about the GLC 300 formatic but it's comfortable, it has enough sportiness if you play with the various modes, and it's priced reasonably well. For Driving.ca, I'm Brian Harper.